1999 E350 lifted on a Camberg style bent beam kit. Why do your tires look so tiny? Because they're stock 245s. Just got off of work. I wanted to film that first part in the daylight before I went to work. Gonna head to Vaughn's after I film this. Blue collar guy, I always joke around that this is the poor man's version of a sports mobile van Quigley conversion. This is my second van build. And I learned my lessons when I did the second build. So my first van build, I got a lift kit and went from 235 to 285 tires without a re-gear. And here's the results. There we go. Remember, 55 is It felt like I lost 50 horsepower when I got bigger tires without a re-gear. My first van build was a 1992 E150. It had a carryover 5.0 V8 from the 80s. 180 horsepower, 280 foot-pounds of torque. When I was shopping for my second van build, I wanted a much nicer van and I wanted the V10. 305 horsepower, and 420 foot-pounds of torque, a lot more power than my last van. Here's a comparison. My last van build, the initial cost of my van was $2,000. And as cool as my last van looked, it was kind of junky. There was a lot of little things wrong with it, like the sliding door didn't lock, the back door didn't open, no AC, the AC didn't work anymore, the windows didn't roll down anymore, like everything was broken on it. But what happened was I ended up really liking it. I always liked vans. I liked vans since I was a kid. I was always jealous of my cousins whose parents had a van because my dad had a Toyota Corolla and I remember my dad would borrow my uncle's van and you know just run errands in it with me and I just remember really liking vans so when I got my first van build I got it so that I could take my dogs to the park and they'll have a cool vehicle to hang out in I'll have a big vehicle to take food to the animal shelter and I remembered watching Motor Week and seeing a review of a Quigley van conversion and I always thought lifted vans look cool. I think it looks cool. I think it completed the look of the van. Once I got the roof rack on I had to get some kind of you know front end enhancement to kind of complete the look. But there you have it. As cool as my last van looked it's not nearly as good as this van. I started off with a much better base this time. The AC works, windows roll down, the doors work, front and rear. So it's just a much nicer van. And this being my second van build, the mistakes I made with my last van, I haven't made with this van. And that's why I still have stock tires. There might be a small period where I have bigger tires and no re-gear, but I think this engine will overcome bigger tires better than my last van because it has much more power. But I do intend on getting a re-gear and a rear locker. Once I get a re-gear, rear locker, and bigger tires, I'm done with this van. I think this van is complete, and it's as good as a two-wheel drive van can get. There's little things that I want to do, like I'll probably paint this hood black with Plasti Dip. That's it, like little things. And just keep it nice. I think it's a good looking van. My Geo Tracker 
was faster than my last van, I think. Let me do a side by side. I, I actually think my Geo Tracker was faster than my last van when my last van had the bigger tires. I actually. Here we go. Remember, 55 is 60. This thing. Another reason to re-gear, other than regaining your acceleration, you might even get better acceleration. This has 373 gears. If I put 265s on it and re-gear to 410s, my gearing will be a 390. If I get a 285 with the 410, my gearing will be a 380. So better than the better than the stock 373s. And another reason, fuel economy. I don't think this is going to suffer as much as my last van did fuel economy wise. I get 10 to 16 miles per gallon. My last van got 12 to 17. But when I put bigger tires on it, 285s without a re-gear, my fuel economy dropped to 7 to 10 miles per gallon. That's the best I could do was 10 with that little power. So, yeah, I just, I ruined my van. My last van was ruined with bigger tires. That's why I went back to smaller tires. So, that's why I'm not making the same mistake with this van. And that's why it still has tiny stock tires on it. So, when I put the bigger tires on there and noticed my acceleration was horrible, the plan was to get 456 gears, uh, Eaton E-Locker, but life happens. Uh, that was too expensive for me. So for now, I just dropped down tire sizes. Doesn't look as cool as the 285s, but my acceleration is normal again. You know.